Confetti Club, it is Pixie, or should I say, Ichika Usomi, freaking second grade middle schooler, here to tell you all about strawberries and bunnies. Yes, it is Baby's first actual whole video on a cosplay that I've done. I've been wanting to do these videos since I started seriously cosplaying, which would have been Cure Flora. Um, so I've been cosplaying for about five years, but three years seriously, three years kind of half almost knowing what I'm doing. Um, and I've always wanted to do like whole videos on each cosplay being like cosplay with me, cosplay showcase or whatever. But I never seemed to do it before the convention. And after the convention, I never want to touch the cosplay again because you're just so sick of looking at it. So it's me. I'm doing this beforehand. This is flippy uppy. I'm sorry. We're off to a bad start. Um, so yeah, this is my Cure Whip cosplay from Kira Kira Precure a la Mode. I am in a group, but we are all making our cosplays individually, obviously. Um, my ears are large. So basically, this video is just going to be me going through and telling you guys how I made everything, showing you close-ups, and it's just gonna be like a big ol' look what I made party because you guys wanted it. People lately have been like getting on me and they're like, hey Jill, you always talk about sewing but you never actually show us anything. That's because you're not following my cosplay Facebook page where I show you all of the progress pictures as I'm sewing the cosplay. It's CosPixie, C-O-S-P-I-X-I-E. I will link it down below, so if you want to see more of me sewing and stuff, that's where you gotta go for that. Um, I am still technically in novice division, um, but every single cosplay I make, I try to make it bigger and better and more professional and as close to factory as I can make it, which is not that close at the moment. But ah, I'm so happy. This is the first time I've had the whole thing on. Um, I'm not wearing the boots though. The boots are the only thing I don't have done because they're drying because I hate them. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go through and have a freaking strawberry bunny chat time. So I decided to cosplay Cure Whip just because I love her character design a lot. Um, you guys know I am like the biggest Precure fan. <laughs> I can't say ever because I don't know, but like I am a big bad Precure B word. Um, so I have cosplayed Cure Felice and Cure Flora in the past. And I don't know why I always just seem to fall in love with the current series. Um, because yeah, this is the one that's currently airing. I did Felice when Maho Girls was airing, and I did Flora when Go Princess was airing, so next year will I cosplay whatever next year's Precure is? Maybe it kind of seems like that's the pattern, but it's not on purpose, I promise. And yeah, my friends uh, wanted to do a group as well, so I was like, ooh, 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 that's so much more fun. So we have a macaron and a gelato and a custard. Um, you will see that in the Halcon vlog whenever I do that. Whenever I do that, I'll do that at Halcon. And of course, of course, I had to be Straw Bunny because she's the pink one and she has a strawberry shortcake and I love her. Um, my favorite character is actually Cure Chocola, but I just, I don't, I don't like her design. I don't like her weird dog ears. I'm sorry, but she is my favorite personality wise. So, um, the very first thing that I thought when I decided I wanted to do Whip was I want the strawberries on her skirt to be the best thing anyone has ever seen. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I wanted to make them whole strawberries for sure, even though you can only see like half of them in her original design. Um, I wanted to satin stitch them so they looked very beautiful and very finished and just delicious. Um, and I wanted to use contrasting fabric choices, which is something I do in my cosplay a lot. I'm sorry if this strap is being stupid. Again, this is the first time I've tried on the whole thing, so there might be things I need to fix before the con, but I'm doing the video now. Um, so yeah, my main focus was I wanted the strawberries to look delicioso, and so I decided to satin stitch all of them. I used um, the pink metallic liquid metal fabric for the inside, which I had to stabilize with Underwonder uh, because it is so slippery, so slippery. Oh, this is the bane of my existence. And Becky, my beautiful cosplay mama, 
who has guided me so much and helped me with so much info. She is like the best cosplay mom there is. And what Becky told me that I think I'm gonna kind of stick to for the rest of my cosplays forever until I die was that you should always start with the thing you're dreading the most or start with the thing that's the hardest or that you like have never done before. So for me, that was my strawberries. I was like, man, do you know how much I wanna do these strawberries? Zero percent. Satin stitching is fun. No, it's not. Um, but oh my god, it looks good when it's done well, but when it's not, it's just a nightmare. So I think I went through three strawberries that I just, like, just effed up real bad. Um, but I ended up getting five good enough strawberries that are on my skirt, so yay! Um, and with that, I learned that you need to either not use fabrics that are going to make your life a nightmare, like satin stitching liquid metal onto twill, onto cotton, like a maniac, or you need to pin the shit out of it and or use stabilizer, so learning. And this skirt as well, fuck, I'm gonna tell you guys all the stupid things I did wrong, basically. This is gonna be a big video of like, anger as I look like an anime character. <laughs> I made the skirt too long three times. Three times. And I also didn't get enough fabric for the skirt. I only got like double and a little bit my waist measurement when it really should have been three times my waist measurement. So I had to shorten it three times to have it have the right puff. I have a side by side here of before and after I shortened it. It looked so bad before. It was so rectangular and whip skirt is like so freaking puffy. Um, I like how it is now. I mean, it could have a little more puff, but I am happy with where it is now. Thank the Lord. Lesson number two that I learned, like please measure carefully because I literally had to seam rip and regather and re-sew the skirt three times. How about we just like think real hard before we sew? Thanks. And then for the overskirt, um, I, uh, first I was gonna make it out of foam like a maniac. I have all the hair behind me because it's large. Um, but at first I was wanted to make the overskirt, the whippy cream overskirt out of foam, kind of like the candy candy skirt that Katy Pemu Pemu wears in that music video. And I was like, man, I'm going to friggin' like sculpt each thing out of foam and I'll just like use a heat gun and then mold it on a f***ing basketball or something and then they'll all be like beautiful whippy cream things and I won't be able to sit but it'll be fine. And then after a little while, I realized that that was stupid and that that would have given me such more nightmare than needed. So I decided to do it with fabric, but I still wanted it to be puffy fluffy and I like how it is now. Um, I think it's more, more similar to the official live costume than what it would have been before. So basically I self-lined uh, this, I think it's just satin, um, like shiny costume satin. And I know a lot of people hate satin, but I think that's bullshit. I think people don't like satin because it doesn't photograph well, but if you mix it with matte fabrics like twill and jersey knit and f like all that good shit, Satin can look nice. Look, you got the matte, you got the shine. Give satin justice. Justice for satin 2K17. Um, so basically inside of this whole skirt is a, another whole skirt made of puffy fluffy stuff that you sew into quilts um, to keep it more, you know, make it so the silk doesn't just go and um, make it so it's fluffy and sticky outy and I like whippy cream. One thing that I don't like is that when I top stitched the top scallopy bit of it, they kinda like stick out weird and it doesn't seem to matter what I do. No matter how I iron it, he's just mad at me and doesn't wanna sit still. It doesn't look awful, but hmm, I feel like I maybe should have top stitched closer to the edge for that. Um, but I am glad that I top stitched everything in this goddamn cosplay because it looks a lot more finished. Um, the bodice was pretty simple. Um, I did have to make the decision because if you look at Whip's original costume, her and my bodices are a little different because hers, the side goes like, and mine is more like an overall, but again, that was a conscious decision. 
Um, and I had to make the decision between making the top all one piece or making it two. And I did make it two because I thought that would make it more realistic, more kind of, I don't want to say lifelike, but like when you look at her costume, it would be like a white blouse underneath a pink kind of pinafore, even though I could have made it all one thing and been lazy, but I didn't. So yeah, this is a whole blouse underneath. Again, the top stitching on the scallops makes them a little sticky outy. You can kind of see my tattoo, but I think if I put foundation over it, it would just get all over the sleeve. So I'm just kind of gonna be like, <laughs> kawaii. So this is just a white jersey, um, kind of like, it's like a crop top. It only goes to there since it's so high-waisted. And then I have pink chiffon with underneath is literally a linen because I'm crazy, but it was the right color and it just gives it a bit more stability. Um, again, because the chiffon is such a like drapey, heavy fabric and when you want big puffy sleeves, otherwise it would have just been like, so yeah, I love the sleeves. I would wear this under blouse crop top thing on its own. Like, I just think it's cute. It's just white with cute, I'll post a picture. I have a picture on Cospixie. I'm sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder. It's cause I'm like describing the costume. You know what I mean? Anyway, the bow is a simple bow. He's puffy. He also has quilt batting in him, so he's extra puffy. And I actually have it attached here and here instead of on the white blouse. But I think I do, I need to attach a brooch back so I can also attach it here so that it stops pulling on here. This I'm learning. So that, cause yeah, for some reason this one's fine, but I don't know. And then I have the little white fluffy thing here. I feel like it kind of looks like literal Kleenex, but ah, uh, the cons in two days that I leave for it. So we're gonna go with it. Um, gloves. After do -re -mi, I, I told myself I would never make gloves again, but here we are, mother Um, I hate gloves. I hate them. I hate making them. They're a nightmare. These were not as bad, but <laughs> this is my favorite I'm stupid story to tell. When I made Do Re Mi's gloves, I, l I knew so little, and this was only a year ago. I still don't know a lot. I want to make sure everyone knows that I am not saying that I'm an expert. Like, I am learning. And when I made Doremi's gloves, not only did I not use a stretchy fabric, I used fucking twill. And I didn't use a zigzag stitch, which means it had extra no stretch. I'm surprised I even placed with that costume, but hey, look, I used a jersey knit and it has a zigzag stitch. And I like made sure to cut the little edges. So still you can see like this little wobbly knobbly bit. This one's a little better. Um, but I complained about that to my friends and they were like, it's fine, stop. So I'm just gonna live with these. Um, and then they do have the scallops around them. I don't love how they turned out. I did like little itty bitty teeny tiny circle skirts for my wrists. I think I just need to iron it real good so that they stay down. And he has the pom poms. And then the earrings. Took pom poms, sewed them to a little uh, bale and then used a thing and made them earrings. Tada! The choker. Um, actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. This cosplay has been the cosplay of scallops. B word. <laughs> I, there are so many fucking scallops. Scallops is this thing where it's like bloop de bloop de bloop. They're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, and they're here. They're sh they should also low-key like be here and here, but I took a creative liberty and didn't make more scallops than I had to um, because oh, Oh my god, I'm so done sewing scallops and top stitching all of them because I wanted to be really good. I just wanted it to be really good. Everything is top stitched. Save me. But yeah, no, I like him. I'll show you guys a close up. So this is just like I measured my neck, I cut it, did the scallops, and then for the closure on the back, it just has a ribbon because I thought, hey, easy to tie, handy dandy. Um, my other options were like Velcro. I could have done the little teeth things and made it like, um, an actual clasp closure, but I also feel like when you do that, then it slides around a lot more. I want to talk to you 
I want to talk to you about these ears. I'm gonna put the whole thing up. Hello. Excuse me. My ears are large. These puppies took me again. I wanted to satin stitch these for sure, but it just gave me so many headaches. Not literally, but like troubles. Again, this is the same fabric that's in the center of my strawberries. Why do I always want to satin stitch the liquid metal? It is so slippery. It's the same stuff that I used for my prom dress. I've worked with it before. I know how annoying it is, but I just love how shiny it is. And again, the shiny with the contrast of the white fleece. I like it. Some people hate shiny. I like it. And so, oh, I think I went through two other whole ears. Um, sorry if this is slightly phallic. Um, I went through two whole ears trying to satin stitch them and uh my friend was just like you need to pin more you need to pin more but i was using this very very thick like probably that thick of white like fluffy fun fur and it kind of just stuck right up it wasn't fur you could brush it was just like um, and I bought a whole meter of that and now I don't need it. But then trying to pin, if you pinned anything to that, especially something as thin as the liquid metal, it just like goes right in. Anyway, it was a nightmare. Basically, I had to go out and buy new white just fleece to do the ears with and use the stabilizer. We So I've learned so much today about ears. Um, they're also wired. So I think this one, I could actually be like, hee hee, ooh, hoo doo doo doo. But yeah, so she has one, one super bent and one slightly bent. And they are humongous. <laughs> they are quite large, but I like them. And so I attached them on a band, like a headband. I wired, I wired through them, I twisted two wires together and then made like a U-shape so it was super strong because they're filled with stuffing and very thick. Um, and then I wired that wire to the headband. I'm talking a lot, I'm sorry. Um, I Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm very nervous because I've never like shared something I've made in this much detail. <laughs> so I'm, I haven't been this nervous for a video in a long time. I hope you will. I hope you will be soft on me. I just like to make things. I'm trying. So I wired them to a headband and then I covered that headband in this fabric so that it would kind of hide in the wig, but you can, oh, like you can see it. I don't know, but it's also like the ears are so thick that the base has to be sturdy. So it kind of has to be that big anyway. But the handy dandy thing is these clips, which, cover up the band which so I can just hide all of my things it, it still looks good underneath but again the ears are technically supposed to be coming out of her head however I am not a real half bunny magical girl strawberry shortcake um but in her actual art her official design she does have a headband um but it's for the cake so I was just like hey there's a headband ears and a cake whatever's attached to the headband, shh, it's fine, shh, no, shh, no, mm-mm, shh, it's fine. And then the cake, oh, we're working all the way up, dude. Um, this cake is a literal sponge, a yellow the f like clean yakar sponge that I painstakingly cut with Ikea scissors into a circle. Um, and then I used like silicone caulking, literal just white silicone, tried to make it look like icing. And oh, I forgot to mention these strawberries were 3D printed um, because my family is big nerd city and I borrowed my brother's 3D printing machine to print this baby strub and this big mama half strub. So shout out to my brother for giving me a hand with that. But basically I found the design, like a free strawberry design online and you just like scale it to the size you want and then you go live your life and have a happy day. So I really am happy with those. So I just plopped him on there. This is on a wooden base as well it was so tricky not like not totally knowing how to do this so underneath the sponge it's on a wooden base it's all e6000 and then i like sewed a felt circle on the bottom because i wanted to like i wanted to look good and finished and i was originally going to sew the clip into the felt 
but the way the clips were, like, even if I sewed it, it would still slide around. So this, I like a lot more. This is much more sturdy. I just glued it to the felt. And that's my whole cosplay! I'm sweating because I'm nervous and wearing a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have been showing you actual good pictures throughout the video, in theory. So I guess I don't have to do, like, a try-on or anything. The boots... I hate, so I don't want to talk about them a lot. My least favorite part about cosplay is always like the props and stuff. I always think I'm good at props and boots and like this sort of thing until I actually go to do it and I'm like, I came here to sew and I'm feeling very attacked right now. Can I just sew everything? Thank you very much. Um, so basically I got a pair of boots that fit the same silhouette from a thrift store. I cut down the top and then re-glued the lining to them and I sprayed them pink and I'm really worried it's gonna crack at the con. Oh, I feel like it's gonna, but uh, gone bate. And then I painted the toes white, which is what is drying and I, oh, the handy thing was they actually had these little hooks on the sides anyway, so I could very nicely attach the pom-poms. So I just used a jump ring and like sewed in a bale to the pom-poms. So at least that part of the boots is nice, but I'm not gonna show you those cause they're not very good and they're not on my feet and they're drying and it's fine, I love you. I liked doing this cosplay, it was fun. I never want to sew scallops again. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. It was something definitely new for me. Um, but like I put so many hours and so much work and so many actual tears and actual sweat into this. So I'm like, okay, I really should share this with you guys because it is a really big part of my life and stuff. This video's Future Confetti Club member is Pink Peach Party on Instagram. Here they are, rocking the Go Get em Sweetheart shirt in pink. Ooh, it's like, it's like Cure Whip hair pink. You look freaking cute. Love your style. Love your glasses. Go get them, sweetheart. You're rocking it. Thank you so much for your support. Love you to bits. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Keep your eye out for my convention vlog where you will see more of me in Whip. Um, and with my friends as gelato custard and macaron if they want to be shown I won't like force them um, and we are doing the dance for the competition Pooty 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 cute. Uh, so that will be fun. Sorry. I'm a huge weeb This is the weebiest video I've ever made and I've made quite a few um, But I just I really like precure and I really like sewing and making things and I can combine those things and it's the best thing ever So I love you guys to bits. Keep an eye out for that. Follow my cosplay page. Sorry I'm plugging a lot. I love you to bits and I will see you in the next video Which is not this one because I'm gonna go and mazi mazi Bye.